Alright guys, we are starting this video off with 5 small tips that make a huge difference when gaming. Now, I've been a gamer for several years now, and I've collected many tips along the way, and today I'm just going to share 5 of them. If you've been with me for a while, you may have heard some of these, some of these may be new, and as you know, there are tons of tips to get better at gaming. So, number one, this is my biggest one, I've, I've been saying this since like day one. Wash your hands with soap and water before you game. I used to say, um, like hand sanitizer would work as well, but recently I got a scuff that had soft touch grip, and the hand sanitizer actually ate through the soft touch grip. So, I've ditched the hand sanitizer, warm soap, well, warm water and soap seems to do the trick basically what it does is it dries your hands out and it makes you be able to grip the controller a little bit better and your hands don't sweat as much and when they do you still have that good grip because you got clean hands right number two center your head in the middle of your tv or monitor and basically what that means is like put your eyes right in the middle of the screen, like up and down, side to side, a direct center. If there's a crosshair on the screen, that's where your eyes need to be. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of people sit off center to a TV, or maybe the TV is way up above them and they have to look up, or maybe the TV is below them and they have to look down. Um, if you, you know, if you can get away from fatigue at all, try to. You know, if you can stare straight forward, not have to move your eyes, not have to move your head crooked or weird, that's going to put you in a very optimal place to game, and it's just going to overall give you a better field of view of the TV. Um, and, you know, that's the way TV and monitors were meant to be. You're sitting right in the middle of them. So, you know, number four, tip number four, or tip number three, my bad, is going to be a kind of a playoff of this. So make sure your head's right in the middle of your TV or monitor, like from number two. But number three here, maintain a proper distance from your TV or monitor. The size of the screen makes a difference. So if you have a huge TV, make sure you back off it a little bit you know you want to give yourself enough room but you don't want to overdo it you want to find that good zone where you can see most of everything on the screen pretty much your entire field of view is taken up by the screen uh, you know you don't want to sit too close to where you have to turn your head to see the monitor you don't have to sit too far away that little details don't pop out to you so that's going to have to be something you play around with um, either moving yourself or moving your monitor or tv Make sure, like I said from the tip uh, before this, get your head right in the center and find that golden distance. That's going to be super optimal whenever you're gaming. Really, it comes down to your, you know, you being comfortable and you being able to sit there for a while, and and not having to deal with uh, minute problems that you know you can fix yourself. Number four, always try to best yourself. Now, these tips aren't necessarily for zombie players or for any kind of gamers but i'll use an example in zombies you know I, I say this a lot like if you're trying to get to round 50 you know and you get there don't settle for that don't be like yay i'm a good zombies player now set yourself a new milestone you know maybe if you're in multiplayer and you're trying to get um a, a kill streak you've never got before always try to go after that you know don't don't settle for what you have right now. Keep pushing, you know. It, this works in many games and, and really life at all. Always try to do better than what you did the time before. And before you know it, you know, you're going to be doing so good that your very first tr time trying to best yourself is like your average now. You know, you're, you're just succeeding always. And tip number five, this is a big one, communication. If you're playing with someone, if you're playing zombies, or if you're playing multiplayer, talking to your team is the best thing ever. If you want to, you know, if you want to become a better zombies player, better multiplayer, or multiplayer player, any kind of game player, communication is where it's at. If you can get your friends around and you can all sit down and play games and, you know, you're very calm, maybe you're raging, but as long as you get your friends there and you're all talking, you're all having a good time, you're going to have a good time and you're actually going to do better in games than if you were just sitting there alone and starting to get bored and then you kind of quit and you're not really giving it your all. And also with communication stems to, you know, a little bit of competition with your friends that you're playing with. So I think you guys enjoyed this uh, little list here. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you already are subscribed, Become a part of the notification squad. All you gotta do is click that little bell right next to subscribe. And if you haven't already, like this video if you liked it. So let me know what you guys want the next video to be. Uh, this was uh, like a top five. I used to do those a little bit. I'm still doing more of those. But what do you want? What do you want from the next video? I think I'm going to talk about World War II. 
coming up, I don't know, in, in a few days maybe, in the next week. Um, but I definitely want to make some more videos. I want to hear what the community has to say. So if you have any kind of idea for a video, please let me know down below. And if, if I choose it, I will give you, you know, credit at the beginning of the video. So make sure to look forward to that too. But thanks for coming to the video. I'm sorry my upload schedule has been very wonky. I told you in the last video, um, time management is something I'm struggling with right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.